Breaking right now on the news at 10, caught in the crossfire, police say a seven-year-old boy is fighting for his life after a shooting in West Philadelphia. Good evening to you. I'm Joe Holden. The child was shot around 7.30 this evening in the 200 block of North Simpson Street. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Reed live at the scene with the latest on the child's condition and the unfolding police investigation. Alicia. That's right, Joe. This is still a very active scene. Police have Simpson Street closed off while they continue to investigate this shooting. Commissioner Outlaw is on her way to the scene. So while we wait for her, I'm going to step out of the way so my photographer, Jake, can zoom in on the two vehicles that are the center of this investigation. That car that you see in the back, that vehicle is a vehicle we believe that seven-year-old was in when he was shot. Now, police are investigating what happened and down. Um, that child was transported to CHOP. Right now, we're hearing he is in grave condition. Neighbors here are very upset tonight, very upset and on edge that an innocent child was shot on the street here on the 200 block of North Simpson Street around 7.30 this evening while the sun was still out. Now, Commissioner Outlaw calls this a senseless act and says this will have a lasting impact on the child, his family, and the community, and that the police department is committed to securing justice and promoting healing for everyone affected by this shooting. Now, in a statement, the commissioner says in part, while every act of gun violence is lamentable, it is especially tragic when the victim is among our most vulnerable and it is our collective responsibility, police and community, to ensure that our children are safe and well protected. Now, police say an arrest was made, but as of this hour, there still has been no recovery of that weapon. Reporting live from West Philadelphia, Alicia Reed, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Alicia, we know you are waiting on the police commissioner to arrive there. Of course, we will see you on Eyewitness News at 11 with the very latest for this breaking news. Thank you.